But yeah, that's my point. And yeah, so the game's over. But coming from the Terran's point of view, he did pretty well. Uh, he put a little, tiny little bit too many turrets down. I I think he a bit over overdid that. He's got a lot of minerals now. Uh, I don't technically technically don't like two base play without an ex like an option for expanding. Like yes, this army was going out here. Oh come on, dude, that's not cool. You're not gonna win. Um, what if this Terran army had been destroyed? Which is kind of hypothetical. What if that's destroyed? Zerg then has three base. Two Terrans. Technically one, because you can be mined out in your main. So that's why I prefer to have people thinking ahead a little bit more. But yeah. So, let's save that VOD for later. Holy crap. You know what I just realized? I figured out why my thing crashed. Where the hell is my D drive? The fuck? It's the one drive, it's not separate drive, it's just partitioned. What the hell? It's got all my movies and stuff on it, that ain't cool. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that, but anyway. It's a laptop, Xenox. But, yeah, it could be. It's the one, it's a terabyte drive, it's just partitioned, that's why I'm like, what? I need to look and see what the, how the brackets have progressed here. Just for my sake. Alright, because we had a Z versus random, we're going to have a ZVZ coming up. Get in debt in a sec once I have a look at these brackets. Because nothing happens in the early game unless they're sick pulling, which neither of them is. So, let's start this up. Welcome back to the Bronze, Silver, and Gold tournament, everyone. Brought to us by SC2C.com. I am Unstable, and it's going to be a bit of a different kind of commentary this time. It's going to be more tips and tricks, the, the general thought process behind trying to get better as a player, rather than pure game casting, like normal. 
We are going to have ZVZ coming up, and it looks by the looks of it, both players have not made any major decisions in their game yet. The first real major decision in ZVZ is, are you going to hatch first, or are you going to pull first? Looks like both of them are going to pull first. With gases on it for Stingray. No gas for Jono, so... Oh no, there we go. This opening is very, very standard for your speedling, bailing opening. It can also be standard for your roach opening, but something you'll notice as you go up the higher tiers, the roaches will have a little bit of a delayed gas because you keep those three drones on the mineral line to get that extra 150 minerals or get there a little bit quicker so you can drop the roach warren. Now, when you're thinking like that, it's only 25 gas per roach, so one geyser can pretty much saturate one entire base of just constant roach production. So you don't need it there early to get that little bit of extra kick out of it. But hey. Oh wow, it's only a, it seems so much later. So yeah, hey, look at that. We do have roaches coming out for one player, and do we have a bangling nest? No, we do have. Don't have speed yet either. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. There's the speed for one. We got roaches for the other. Now, when you're doing this kind of uh, matchup, you have a timing window of before he has enough roaches to stop your lings and bane. But no, it looks like he's going wing speed and roach warrant. I personally don't like mixing the two strategies. Later on, yeah, when you have like wing run buys and like max 200 to 100 armies and things like that, yeah, that's fine. But <laughs> that's an extra 100 minerals and 100 gas that you might be using at otherwise. If we have a look at the unit count, where's the zerglings? We don't have any zerglings out for Stingray yet. So what's the point in this upgrade? Eh? Just about tweaking those bits and pieces. Roach warrants out. We have four roaches coming out. Four, four Jono. He's going straight to Lair as well, off the one gas. I, I don't know. I think that just all night, I think these guys have been going to Lair too soon. You want to have your expansion up. You want to have those extra two gas guys to be able to pump out any kind of units that are coming from Lair tech and stuff like that. But, uh, we'll see how he goes. Yeah, both of them going for there. We do have five roaches coming across here for Stingray, where this is the four of Jono's, but Jono does have extra ones coming up. The, prob the biggest problem with Roach Wars is it's all about timing and positioning. It's kind of like tank wars, really. Uh, so, for example, we we have all these roaches being strewn across by Stingray, which did come out first compared to Jono's. But hey, look at that. By the time they get over there, it's five roaches versus like eight or nine, and there is no way that Stingray is going to be able to do much with those. He has extra lings coming across, which is nice, but on the other hand, Jono just has pure roaches coming across. If we have a look at the unit count, we have eight versus f five and 10 lings as well for Stingray. The lings actually might do fairly well, but the problem with this is right here, look, he's got two units covered at the back. He's just gonna be able to kite these around all he wants. There's a lot more roaches than there are the, uh, for Geno as well. Which is why in Roach Wars, you, you wanna be focusing more on positioning and, and roach count and uh, reinforcement timing than anything else. So. I think those wings, a bit too over ambitious. Like that could have been a lot more roaches, or even an expansion that he could have had. He's getting double Evo Chamber off one base. Okay, off one base, man, no. Double Evo Chamber and a lair and stuff. You want two bases for you want. You want all those extras. These guys got lairs, but they haven't actually used it. Okay. So, what's the point in that? We do have more roaches coming up the ramp. Here for Geno, he probably could overpower him at this point. He could just A move in there and win. Uh, he's forced a lot of spine crawlers, which is less roaches, less drones. But like I said, the reinforcement timing, it's now swung back into Stingrays. We do have a spire coming out now for Jono. So, 
earlier on in the night, for those of you who have been with me the whole night, I was talking about the one base fast layer. It's either a roach timing with speed, like a lot of roaches, or a spire for for um, units. Yeah. Stingray's gotten a bit. Stingray's gotten a bit um a bit lucky here because he does have those Eva chambers out. Now, the f <clears throat> yeah, that's a good point, Cordens. I personally don't actually watch Day Nine anymore because I just don't have time. Plus, he's on at one p.m. when I'm always at work. But when you make an expansion in ZVZ, people get in their head. They're like, "Oh my god, I just wasted three or not waste, but I just spent three hundred minerals." And now I'm behind until I get units out of it. Well, keep in mind, he still has to send units across from his base, so technically you're still dead even. You don't have the defender's advantage as much, so you need to be on the ball, but still, you do have something in the advantage. And now Jono is going to defend this off because he has enough roaches to do it. He's got a nice concave. His expansion's up. we got a lot of speed links coming across. Wow, he's actually lost these links. Might have uh, done a little bit more than I thought. But we do have six more roaches on the way, so they're going to be able to clean up and defend this. And he's going to be sitting pretty because he does have that extra expansion. He's got that queen. He's got a lot more drones as well. Twenty-six to eighteen. So yeah. Who wins in a Roach Hydra versus Mutaling? That's completely dependent on war, how things are used. So you can't really straight up say that. You're more often going to have something along the lines of Muta Baneling versus Roach Hydra. But yeah. So, 29-14 to 14 in the work account. Jono has an expansion. This game should be over. we got more things being popped in the main here. Make more drones. Do it. <laughs> That's really all I can say right here is you're building too much stuff in your base. It's putting it behind. And he's just going to be keeping getting further and further behind. Right now, the only possible way he can probably come back from this is to double expand and hope that Giorno you know, sits back long enough for him to catch back up in the drone count. But uh, honestly, I don't see it happening. we got muters coming out now. Things like that. He's also getting Overlords picked off. An Overseer goes down. Two Overlords are going down. That is going to supply cap him pretty much. Uh, and it's game over. But he just doesn't realize that. Screen. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing an overlord. You can see it too. Kill it. <laughs> oh my god. Interesting note Hydra hasn't actually BM'd in a long time, if people have been noticing. So we're 30 to 19. Right now, if I were Jono. I'd realize he's still on one base, and I'd just be like, okay, I'll take a third expansion and saturate all three bases right now, because there's nothing you can really do about it. And a lot of roaches, a lot of hydras coming in now. He's going to finish it up. Finish it. That is going to be a GG. So, things to work on in that game, just as a recap, Stingray needs to learn to expand, he needs to get a lot more drones, and pretty much if he did that, he'd be fine. Uh, he needs to pick a tech path, like he went to Talaya, but didn't actually get roach speed or anything, it took him a while.
that, so let's stop that VOD.